When I first heard of environmental psychology, I thought of how building construction affects people. I think about the importance of nature to our physical and mental health. When I first heard about environmental psychology, I needed a psychology elective to fulfill my major requirements. So what is environmental psychology or EP? Well, the American Psychological Association describes it as a multidisciplinary field that investigates the effects of the environment on human behavior and welfare. On the first day of EP, I tell students that we will focus on interactions between individuals and their settings by examining how physical features of the natural and built environment impact our cognition, behavior, and well-being. And I ask students to consider the reciprocal nature of the human environment relationship. So why do we study environmental psychology? Well, it helps us to answer important questions like how do people find their way when they are lost or why do I always feel so anxious when on a crowded subway? If you're like me, you want to know how to design a workspace that helps to increase your productivity or minimize distractions such as noise, especially when working from home. Environmental psychology also explores how natural settings can foster healing and promote stress reduction. In fact, a landmark study published by Roger Ulrich in 1984 found that patients who were recovering from surgery spent far less time in the hospital when they had a view of trees outside their window compared to patients who had a view of a brick wall. So how do we study EP? Laboratory experiments may be the gold standard for psychology, but EP often relies on field research methods such as naturalistic observation and field experiments. With naturalistic observation, the researcher may try to conceal their presence so as not to interfere with the behavior of those being observed or eliciting a response. This method may have a higher degree of external validity because the observation occurs in a real world setting. A field experiment is one that is conducted in a naturally occurring setting. For example, Researchers have tested whether using a virtual reality simulation can reduce anxiety in patients before a dental procedure. Believe it or not, environmental psychologists also conduct survey research. That's right. The use of surveys in environmental psychology may yield valuable insights about how people perceive or utilize their surroundings. This student is taking a survey about their territorial and privacy preferences for engaging in different behaviors like eating a meal, singing, or reading a book. That's just a brief overview of EP and some of the methods we use to explore our research questions. In our next episode, we're going to talk about virtual workspace. Until then, here are some readings to check out.